The guy is chasing six here. Back with you with PS Right Just Raw. We're on the last episode right now. So let's see what's going on. Looks like we have resolved everything at last. As far as I said, there are still things I'm confused about, but everyone seems to be in good spirits. That's good enough for me. That's how the course is done. March 23, 5.14pm You were great out there, Bane. So I did out there was right, wasn't it? This is the first time you've not gotten your client off. You got them a guilty word this time. But you have to look past all of that to what's really important. You never realize that there's something more than just getting a not guilty, right? Yes, I understand now. Please think back for a second. Think to the moments before Ms. Malcolm arrived with the final piece of evidence. Think about the incredible decision she had to make. Now, dear Mr. Wright, let's hear the defense's final statements on this matter. I can't count the evidence to help me anymore. I have to listen to my heart. Should I side with justice or should I save my life? My client, my uncle, is. Is he guilty or is he not guilty? Those were your choices then. And your answer? You answer spoke to what being a lawyer means to you. Right. Edgeworth, I have good news. Mine is not safe in police custody. Really? Pro, is he telling us the truth, right, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, she's quite safe. She's on her way there as we speak in a control car. Ah, Mr. Meyer, Mr. Meyer said. You did, you really did, Mr. Nick. I was punched it deceptively hard for a kid. I believed in you. I kept saying to myself, Mr. Nick will save her. Mr. Nick will save her. Why? No pulls keeps slapping and punching fingers. Damn. Oh, um, thanks. Oh, what's wrong? It's my karma. Oh, about earlier. Uh, thanks. Ow, oh, why are you still smiling? Mr. Phoenix right? You, you lost. Perfect world record has now been crushed. And yet you are still happy? I don't think you ever understand, Ms. Von Karma. How dare you? Don't worry. She may in time. After all, it's like that I'm myself until a year ago. Uh, Edgeworth. Well, my own personal victories and for guilty verdicts. I get a drink of my coffee. I used every Dory trick in the book, and so my win record remains spotless. But when I appeared and stood fast against a selfish me, I followed my usual manner to taste my first defeat. I felt like I lost everything because of that. And then, it was my turn to sit in the defendant's chair. When I was saved by that person I called my enemy. I couldn't forgive myself for all that had happened, so I left the prosecutor's office. Forgive yourself for what? I left that middle prosecutor miles the edge of Jesus' death. And as you well you should have. Prosper has shamed himself with the pitch and caught to hoe and die. That was not what happened. After I left the prosecutor's office, I finally came to realize something. It was in that moment of clarity that everything began to change. What, what foolish nonsense. The prosecutors use anything we can to attack the defender. Every time we do so, Now how desperate the situation instead of giving up like most people, the man will hold strong with a undy dying faith. In for you, I began to trust that man as well. What? Trust your enemy? Doesn't matter how many underhand tricks the person uses, truth will always find a way to make itself known. The only thing we can do is fight with the knowledge of we hold in everything we have. Erasing the paradox one by one. It's never easy to claw and scratch for every inch. Always 
eventually reach that one single truth that I promised you. The truth, yes, that's the reason why prostitutes and defense lawyers exist. I'm sure you knew that already, didn't you, right? That's why you couldn't forgive me. This man who went into hiding, isn't that right? The man who only had his sights set on victory, who ran away into the night. It's Mr. Etchifar, right, Mr. Nick? When you disappeared, I felt betrayed. The reason I decided to become a lawyer to begin with is because I believed in the things you said to me. All those years ago, And you, you betrayed your word, own words. That's why, one year ago, that's why I made up my mind. I said to the death mouse, that truth I knew had died. At least that's what I told myself. You pathetic fool, Ms. Von Karma. I don't want to create a wretched whimper of a disgraced loser. My karma so is destined to be perfect, Mouse Edgeworth. You are no longer worthy. You are no longer worthy of being a Vakarma, and neither am I. It's over. It's all over. This Cisco threw something on the ground just now. This is an electromagnetic receiver. Isn't that the thing she used to check take the dumpster? I will turn this to pieces later. There's something else. Uh, isn't that Miss Von Karma's whip? I never set foot in another courtroom again. I'm sure that's what she's saying by his action. She keeps this right. I'm okay. Nick! I'm a Mamaya. Mystic Maya. Mystic Maya. Oh man, we finally got my back. Oh Nick, I knew you would come through. You got on guard convicted like I knew you would. And on top of that, you even rescued me. Well, of course I did. You know I would never desert you. But we should press our luck at this trial. You really lucky to be standing here. Whatever, whatever. Look, it's over, okay? Besides, if I did croak, let's come back and haunt you like a bad ghost through Pearly. Is it really that easy to do something like that? Thanks a lot, Nick. Oh, um, don't mention it. Maya, oh, Mr. Edgeworth. Um, I'm relieved you're alright. Hey, it looks like you've made some real progress, Mr. Edgeworth. Um, well, I suppose I'm a little different from who I was a year ago. Alright. I think it's time to guy up this depressing place. Oh, where are we going? Food, Nick. Food. Bro, chow, I'm starved. I'm so hungry even you look like a nice juicy burger on a bun to me, Nick. You think it look like a burger? I'm a prime rib, at least. Come with us, Mr. Edgeworth. Please. Oh, um, if you insist, I'm lost. Well, forget it. Alright, so how about we hit up our usual Joe Burger joint? Don't be silly, Nick. This case messed up that awesome even guy in the way of my gourmet food. So I've decided that we have to make it up by having another feast. Another feast? Come on, Nick. Food. Hey, pal. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Don't show you alright? Yeah, but I'm really embarrassed. I didn't think I would hit a telephone pole of all things. But thank goodness you didn't get hit a car. It wasn't a red light that got him. You did again, city boy. Felt like my dear old house gonna get out on me. I ain't joking. It's more exciting than the very last episode of the Steel Samurai. Oh, thanks. Now look here, Mr. Smear Prosecutor. Don't you reckon you bully Mr. Wright too hard? It doesn't start being a lot nicer than we might just take it tonight even. Or oh, I'll keep that in mind. Come on, let everyone get around. You're gonna get your picture taken by a genuine professional photographer. Well, at least we can put this messy case behind us now. 
Come on, can I tell them about you? So let's go chow down, pal. Amen to that, pal. Amen. You know, when you think about it, you were the one who saved the day, Taker. Do you really think so? It's right. If it was for the three items you took, I think this child would have had a very different ending. Oh, well, you know, it's... Ho, 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 ho. Oh, uh, wait. That's all. Uh, I ran off with the things from the killer's hideout. I'm sure I took four things total, sir. What? Four? Yeah, I'm sure I put one of the items in my coat pocket. There's a fourth item? Oh, come on, y'all, it's over. But, oh boy, I tell you, you really are something else. Between being accused of murder and getting kidnapped, never a dull moment with you, huh? Ha ah, ha, you think? Why does she look so happy about that? I've been shut away for two whole days. Weren't you scared? It was really scary. I feel so hopeless. So keep my mind off the things I drew a picture. Sounds like you had it rough, gal. So where's this picture of yours? I want to see it. I want to see Mrs. Miles' picture. Hmm, you know, I don't know where it did went. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, it's alright. I don't see anything important anyway. She was nice to see them both smiling again. Hmm? What is it, Edgeworth? This thing is picking something up. Oh, uh, that's Miss that's Miss McCollum's receiver. But thanks to her, I had the most awful experience of my life, sir. Can't believe she stuck a tracking device on me. And so uh, even though you're standing right here, tracking device seems to be in a different location. It's probably Buster or something, sir. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm afraid it's about time for me to excuse myself. Still have some work to do. Oh, but Mr. Edge, you haven't even, even eaten anything yet. And you've eaten way too much, you glutton. Have fun tonight, now do excuse me. Wait, what? I just want to say, thanks Edgeworth. You really saved me out there. If everyone should be saying thanks, it should be me, right? I feel like words alone aren't enough here. I wonder if there's anything I can give them to express how I feel. What's this? Thank you. It's all thanks to you two. You and her. You need to thank me. I was only doing my job. Looks like Mr. Edgeworth has left, Mr. Nick. Hey, Mr. Kamaya. Yes. I guess you two can go back to being lovey-dovey, right? You're Mr. Nick, I mean. Corley, will you cut that shit out? Excuse, excuse my language, guys. Did you cut it out already? You're embarrassing me. Um, anyway. <laughs> so who's paying for this lovely dinner party? I see you can have someone say thank you, Mr. Nick. Huh? Well, yeah, I'm kind of at the point where I can't even buy Mr. Noodles, pal. So I kind of already put your name on the bill. Huh? Yeah, I got in a situation just like that myself. This is camera shop in this hotel, see? I just bought myself this good old beauty here. It's baby anyhow for his three thousand dollars. Huh? 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 Actually, I reckon you bought it for me since it's on your tab and all. Huh? I bought your camera? Isn't this great, Mr. Nick? Yeah, Nick. I just feel like screaming. Oh, you don't need to hold back now, you hear? Yeah, pal. Have to let it all out. This is gonna be the first time I hear the real you. Go on, it's been a while since I heard you say it's been biz busy being a hostage, you know. Alright then, if you say so. OBJECTION! OBJECTION! I had to hide that little, but I knew you'd find it. I really feel like I've... Pretty 
cool, huh? I feel like a pro. I'm so happy that you can save Mr. Mimes, Nick. I'm so happy for the... I think this place may reservation for the two of you, just in case. They let kids make reservations? Well, kinda looks like I'm all back on the force again. Mr. H had a long talk with the chief, they got me reinstated. I always said things like laying down won't go as bad for all society. I knew a crash headlong into everything's the only way to live, pal. A Maggie boy in a retirement uniform as of today, sir. I'm going to be a waitress from now on. And bring smiles and joy to people who come by the restaurant, sir. Hope you stop by sometime, Mr. Wright. Yes, yeah, so are you here to visit patient hmm? I'm Director Holly, ho ho. Visit me, hmm? yes. That girl, you know, I haven't seen her around. Hmm, yes. I remember if I even laid so much as an eye on her, it'll go crack. Hmm? Didn't know if I got. Time to begin a quest of full speed. A world circus domination. Hey Max, what do you think Zimbabwe is like? Do you think there are cats made of cake and bunnies who can talk? I think if there are any talking bunnies, even they won't laugh at most jokes. I'm ready, I'm ready. There's no way these jokes are gonna fall on deaf ears. I'm gonna be more contemporary with my humor and rolls close represent. You gotta say something, will ya? I'm supposed to start this off, get on with it. This dress, just an ordinary electric razor charge on a stand. I can't believe this, really. How long do they plan on making me do this? Those edgy poos are this, so that means they must have a deep hidden meeting. But why did I get the feeling they wouldn't forget about me, would they? I was never like this in the old days. Everyone thought the world of me. They used to kind of queen wind and treat me like world to anyone. Oh man. I appreciate everything you and Mr. Edgeworth did for me. Oh, that's why I received the letter from Ms. Von Karma. So that after I get I should feel free to console her about anything at all. I really think that I have met everyone. It's become difficult for this country. As such, I will take a short leave of absence. If you will, we both be blessed with long, longevity.
March 23, 9.42 p.m. International Departures. Where are you going, Francisca? I didn't know I was here. Like this. That's how you're plant, planting things on a certain person. Things like track devices in his coat, for example. Hmm, that's just like you. I am not in there because he was always wearing it. This filthy drab coat of his. I know how it ended up in my luggage. It's going to trash, I promise you that. Well, that's right. Speaking of that man, he told me something very interesting. I ran off the things from the killer's hideout. I was sure I took four things total, sir. Four items? It seems you put the last one in his coat pocket. Put it in here? It doesn't matter anymore. The case is already over. What are you going to do now? That's none of your business. Are you running away? Shut up! You don't understand a thing. You can't possibly understand what it means to be Manfred von Kalman's daughter. Francisca, so many ex expectations from everyone around me, every expectation I must fulfill. I don't expect to win no matter what, and failure? Such a thing is not an option for me. My father was a genius, no doubt about that, but... For me, I'm no genius. I was known then. I'm not sure about that, didn't you? I should prosecute at 13? But I... I had to be one, I had to. You may not be a genius like your father, but you're a prosecutor, you have been, always will be. No, I'm not, not anymore. I've been throwing my whip away. Speaking of that, Roy gave me this to hold on to. You knew something like this would happen, didn't you? I'm going to say this again. The prosecutors don't fight for personal honor or pride. I hope you will think deeply about you what you should be striking down with that whip. You haven't changed a bit. You've always, you've always left me alone, walked on ahead without me. When I was Edgeworth, I've always hated you. And then, finally my chance to take my revenge on you arrived. If I could win against that man, if I could make things right, bow down the feet, then this girl you left behind would have risen higher than you. That was supposed to be my revenge. I see. You know, I can't do it. I can't change who I am. I can't throw away everything I've been until today. I believe you can't just like how Adrian Andrews did. Adrian Andrews? You're gonna use her during the trial, right? But you, you depend on your father by using his tactics, isn't that right? They chased after me after I've left you behind all these years. That's why we're standing here now side by side. I have no intention of stopping. You say you're going to quit your walk down the prosecutor's path? Then this is where we part ways with Francisco Valcano. I, I, I am Francisco von Karma. Don't think I will walk in your shower forever. Our battle begins now. Say a bad period of Miles Edgeworth. Oh, sh she's getting, she's getting s s soft towards Edgeworth. Drew me again until then. This last piece of evidence that I never made to you, I'll take good care of this fourth piece. So I can give it to you when I at last we meet again. Okay, we're, we're done with the game.
for you guys to stop right here. Take care, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.